Welcome back everybody. Uh, today is December 28th, which means we just passed Christmas. So to anyone celebrating, first off, I want to say Merry Christmas. But the more important date for me is we are a couple days away from January 1st, 2022. Uh, we had some goals that we wanted to hit for that date, but we might be moving a little bit backwards today. Let me explain. So to quote Albert Einstein, someone that never made a mistake is someone who never tried something new. And building this car is definitely uh, something I've never done before and something new. And so some of the things we did along the way didn't work out. And we're gonna have to be redoing them. So we're gonna be talking about that today. First things first, as you guys already know, we've talked about it in the last video. The brake lines are all wrong. Uh, it was the first time trying it. It was fun, I learned a lot, but we did not do it correctly. So luckily, uh, my brother actually ended up getting me that brake kit. He saw my video and he, uh, he decided it was gonna be best that we end up doing the brake kit for Moss Motors. So that kit's coming uh, and so we need to tear out the brake lines today. Our second issue is with our radiator. Now, it was a while back, if you guys wanna watch the video, it'll be... I think it'll be right here. Uh, but we actually installed the radiator from a Mark II Jetta, Mark II Golf maybe. And uh, it ended up working well, it fit the tight space we needed. Uh, but you can see it's pretty old, pretty beat up. We had a lot of issues uh, with our plumbing. And then our, my latest issue is I really can't fill it. There's no fill cap. And I learned that normally these have a reservoir that you fill it with. I don't really have space for that. So this guy is going. As well, we kind of have a leak. I don't know how well we can see that. But it's leaking, so it has to go. We have another one coming. All right, let me jump in here a second. What you just watched was from the other day, uh, and since then, a lot has actually changed, uh, for really for the better. So, uh, f first things first, we finished the brake lines. We took them all out. It was a very boring process. Uh, you know, you guys didn't want to see it anyways. And so the rest of that video is just going to be me taking out the radiator, you know, draining it, taking it out and saying, all right, soon the other radiator, let's try that again, taking out the old radiator, draining it, and then saying, so hopefully soon the new radiator is here. But in this box, we have our new radiator. That's the very old one from the Mazda. This is our new one. So let's uh, get talking about that. All right, so first things first, uh, this is our new radiator. Now, uh, the issue with a Mazda, Mi or a Mazda Miata, holy cow, my brain is everywhere today. The issue with an MG Midget is it's a very small car. And so we had to find a small radiator. But the issue isn't really the width. We have a, a decent um, enough room side to side. It's actually the height. Um, without putting it on an angle, and as you can see, our old one is, uh, is slightly tilted back. Um, we only have about 14 inches in height that we can use for the radiator. So this radiator is actually about 16 inches from top to bottom, uh, but we're still gonna make it work. That's what we're gonna figure out today. Now, what I like about this radiator is the mounting, or the uh, inlets and outlets are actually in better positions for what I need. It has a drain and of course, it has that fill cap and that's what we are missing and that's gonna really make everything uh, a lot better for me. So I'm pumped, uh, let's get the old one out and let's uh, figure out how we're gonna put the new one in. So the radiator is out, let's take a look. So if you guys remember a while back when we first put in the radiator, we made this mount, uh, we measured it out, everything was perfect. Um, we basically slotted into these holes, the, the bottom kind of little nubs. Um, we're gonna do something similar with the new one, but like I said, we need to make two more inches of room. And so we're actually gonna cut into these frames, uh, these frame rails to drop it in. Then we're gonna make some supports. Uh, the first thing I gotta figure out though, is where I want to position the um, the radiator. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Now it doesn't really matter where it goes. First things first, you can see that obviously it is too tall. Um, but more importantly, I need to figure out where in line here I want it to be. In the middle here, having that inlet, it helps me out a lot. And the reason being is, I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been following, 
but trying to route this line all the way over here was terrible. It's kind of in the way of the steering rack. I wasn't super happy with it, but being right here in the middle, you can see that that's such an easier connection. It's not in the way of anything. And so honestly, I would really, really like that. <clears throat> However, that makes it a little tougher for the top to connect. But again, that's much easier to deal with than down there. Uh, the other option is we center it. But again, stuff's in the way. So I think, I think off to the side might work. And what we might actually do is put it off to the side and we might actually change our intake setup to just come straight out to the front there. I really like that look. I really like um, the, you know, it's less restrictive. It might actually work out better. And then we have something coming in over here, which we'll talk about in our next video. But I think that's gonna come forward and uh, having the room here is gonna help. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, I'm gonna start mocking it up. So just like everything we do, uh, this is like the first time I'm doing it. I'm, I'm bringing you guys through the process of what's kind of going on in my head. So I cut out the one side. Um, that's how we're gonna make the room is I cut the, the frame rail in the front. Don't worry, it's okay. Uh, we're, all, we're all safe there. Uh, so that dropped it down about uh, an inch and a half. But when we go to the top, we are close, but not quite there. So now I'm trying to figure out either A, do I wanna cut away from this structure, stand it straight up? Um, and, and have it there. Do I want to build something down here to drop it down just a little bit more? Um, or, or do I just angle it aggressively? This is kind of what I'm trying to figure out right now. So, we'll see what goes. Day three, I'm working on the radiator. I think we got it figured out. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. So, uh, let's take a look for a second. All right, so, um, we cut away from the frame rail here because our radiator is going to be on an angle, uh, but we welded in this bracket and attached it to the top frame rails as well, uh, just to make sure it's rigid and, uh, and good. Now I know that it looks like it's a bit cockeyed, um, it's just the way it had to be. It works well and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. So uh, basically we have two holes here. I know it's hard to see because we just painted, but one hole two hole and so that's the bottom mounts um, our radiator over here you can see that it has little pegs on the bottom now we drilled out some holes through the aluminum uh, so that we can put some cotter pins just for extra make sure it holds in there uh, so that is the bottom part of the mount now for the top part of the mount uh, we haven't done it yet but basically we've just made little brackets down here that will uh, just attach to these top fan mount holes now, if this doesn't cool enough, we do have a fan that we can put on it. Uh, but for now, sorry, we don't have the fan. We can buy a fan to put on it. Uh, so for now, we're going to use those mounts, but we might have to later for a fan and we'll change things up. Uh, the only other thing that I need to figure out is where I want my air intake now. We can do what we had, which is curving along here. But the radiator is here. Um, the intake would be here and the exhaust is also going to come forward. So I'd rather just shoot this straight out the front. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly to do there. So more on that uh, to come later. So let's get the radiator in and see how it looks. All right, just finished cleaning up here. I wanna show you what I did and uh, what it looks like and you guys tell me if you think it's good. Here it is. So I know it kind of looks like buck teeth and uh, I know it's off centered, but that is for a purpose. So uh, first things first, getting down here. Like I said, we created this mount uh, to hold the bottom of our radiator. Uh, like I said, I think at the beginning of the video, it's been like three days, so I kind of forget what I was saying, but um, before our, the bottom of our radiator was mounted on top of these rails, uh, but because this radiator was a little bit taller and I didn't want to cut a hole in the, uh, in the hood, I decided that I needed to chop down that one side. So you saw that in the clip before this. Uh, so then we put this rail on the bottom, just reinforced it. It is welded to both of these uh, frame rails, but added these little side supports just in case. Last thing we want is our uh, radiator falling off when we're driving. Uh, and then so up top, 
we just have these little mounts welded in. If you're looking at this and you're saying there's no way you could take that radiator out, uh, you are correct. There is um, no way I have to bend those top uh, support mounts, but that's okay. Um, they're, uh, they're more just tacked in there anyways, holding it. Uh, honestly, it could not even need those top ones. It's pretty in its place. So what's really nice is I was able to use the factory uh, hose for the top here, which makes me really, really happy. I'm not a huge fan of the corrugated ones, uh, so that was awesome. But in terms of the corrugated ones, if you watch that video that I uh, posted before, again, the link's up here, um, I, I did not like where this one went. It went all the way over here. It was jammed down under there. Now we have this beautiful, it just goes right through the middle, no obstructions, not at a weird angle. I'm actually pumped about it. Uh, so the last thing that I still don't really know is uh, I put the air intake back in how it was. And for this, it's fine. It's kind of a little messy here, but uh, you know, I'm not too concerned. But like I said, the next video you guys will be seeing is probably me making my headers. The beginning of the stuff is right there. I've already shot some footage with that, but the plan for that is it's going to come forward and then probably wrap down. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I don't really want the hot exhaust next to the intake. Now, if you know anything about Miatas, that's originally how it is. The, the air intake comes around the engine um, and actually sits like right here on the Miata, right next to the exhaust. So I'm sure it's not the end of the world, but obviously if I can avoid it, I will. Uh, so I want to make this, I wanna make the air intake come straight out the front here. I think it'd look cool. I think it would fill in that space uh, and it would get a ton of cold air. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, but my only issue with that is um, these two lines come in and uh, I'm assuming it like finishes the vacuum system. I really don't know what they're for. If you guys can tell me, that'd be great. Uh, but right now these come into this and for me to move this up here, I would just have to have a little tiny thing. I couldn't have those. Um, and so if there's a way to eliminate those or if I don't need those, you guys tell me. Um, it is a line, it comes up and then goes into the valve cover. Uh, so like I said, it's probably part of the vacuum system. I'm just, I'm really not sure. Uh, so if I can eliminate those, then yeah, we're gonna shoot that right out the front. I can still probably figure something out to keep those anyways, but uh, it'll just have to be some custom modification. So here it is. It's already full, uh, thanks to a beautiful radiator cap, like our old one did not have. Here's it from this angle. Uh, I'm happy. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually stoked. That was one of the bigger, issues that I had this whole project, that and the fuel were like my two things I was most concerned about. Cause fuel's dangerous and cooling, if it's not set up right, um, you know, your engine will overheat and bye bye car. So I'm, I'm so happy with how that turned out. Um, I'm, I'm actually pumped. So the reason I have this here too is the only negative thing is I want to show you guys this. When we put this back on, I don't know how well you can see cause it's black but you can see that this hangs down lower. Uh, but what's good about it is I planned on doing a front uh, kind of spoiler. Uh, and so that actually kind of gives me a mount to do that. So that actually kind of excites me a little bit. I'm pretty pumped. Uh, this car's coming together, guys. Fuel stuff coming the next couple days. We can finish that off fully. Um, and then the headers. And then uh, drive shaft and we can drive it. So. Uh, watch out for that video coming soon. Thanks guys so much for watching. I know this video is kind of all over the place because it was shot a couple different days, uh, a couple different times, but uh, I just want to say thanks for, for supporting, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, and most importantly, thanks for being you. All right, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.